When he was laid off during the pandemic, Brian Schwartz became hooked on grass. Mowing it, that is. Really just as a time filler, uh, just wanted to help neighbors just keep myself busy, mentally, physically. Uh, just obviously we weren't going to the gym for a few months, so I found it to be a good workout, um, therapy, and um, it felt nice and I just wanted to keep going. But what started as a pastime soon became a mission. I was helping out elderly, which eventually just tra uh, transpired into military veterans and disabled, pretty much anyone else in need. To spread the word about his free service, Brian created a website called IWantToMowYourLawn.com. And with that, a kindness movement was born. Hey, I'm Nikki with Buffoon Garden Project, and I want to mow your lawn. And I started to hear from volunteers, people that might have either been furloughed or laid off um, as well in a similar boat. They just happened to have landscaping equipment and a means to transport it around. And so we started to disseminate out tasks uh, to people in the area of northern New Jersey. And then just news picked up and went a little viral. And I uh, started to hear from clients all across the USA and um, volunteers as well. Pretty soon, Brian began offering other services, like tree and snow removal. He also received donations from individuals and companies wanting to help with operating costs, as the movement grew to include 263 volunteers across 41 states. So clients reach out to us through a few different mediums. They contact us through voicemail, through website, through social media, and through email. Within the last three months, I've re we've received over a thousand voicemails all across the USA. Though clients can sometimes be wary about the offer of something for nothing, it doesn't take long to realize there's no catch. The service is the real deal. It's been helping us out for over a year now, and I can't speak more highly about this service and what it means to people at a disadvantage. Brad does a wonderful job on the lawn. I couldn't ask for it to be kept any better. And he was really an angel too. Do you know he called when we had a, a snowstorm and he wanted to make sure I could get Jesse over to dialysis. And he came and he did the driveway just so that we could, you know, we could get out and take him to dialysis. I can't say enough about you guys. Brian's service, which he's turned into a non-profit organization, undoubtedly helps his clients. But he also feels the benefits are mutual. Stimulates my mind, my body, my soul, just helping others. It's a really good feeling. I feel like I'm doing something that has some meaning and purpose. 